Okay, so we're back here to uh, open the ancient vault. Sounds easy, doesn't it? I guess that's back up in here. Uh, we can fight our way over pretty easily, I think. There's something weird about this place. The energy is different here. Yeah, it's different than Dathomir. Yes. Dathomir is intricate. Its ancient power emanates from the shadows. Bagano feels more simplistic, and yet... I can't figure it out. Bagano is special. There's a reason the Zeppo built their vault here. Where your holocron waits. Hidden. What are you getting at? This planet has remained nearly untouched for centuries. Were the lives you seek to protect really in danger before you intervened? Okay. Come on now. We're doing our best. So, a couple streams ago, you guys were talking about the, uh... You guys were talking about the pink poncho that was here. And I would like to find it. You said it was where we fought the, the uh, Ogdo Bogdo, right? And while I don't remember exactly where that is, I'll know the area when we get there. So I'll try and find it. Remember when we first came to this level, we had no powers? Okay, so this is like our little... Our little hideout. I should probably try to find this guy. It was pretty early in the level. Was it not? I don't think this is it. <clears throat> yeah, we're, we're poncho free right now, but if I can get that pink one, we'll throw it on for a bit. If I can remember where the thing is. He's down below somewhere, right? Let's get lower. Jeez. Here it is. Uh, we're a little bit stronger than the first time. That we were here, actually. Oh, wait, is that not even him? It's not even him! <laughs> Where's the den? Where's this little den? We need to find the one with the den. That's not even the one. Okay. Okay. Where do I... Where do we find it? Am I in the... Am I in the vicinity? Mr. Blue Tie, look at you. Thanks for gifting a couple of subs to uh, Supreme and Baxter. That's really kind of you. Mason, thanks for the 18 months, man. Finally, the day I look forward to every week. <laughs> I'm glad, man. Go back to the first bonfire? Okay. I felt like it was really early in the level. So we had that part, at least. Okay, I'm on it. Yeah, he was the one we cheesed. I know that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll never, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. Let go. <laughs> Thank you. You call it cheese, I call it advanced martial arts. I mean, we're a Jedi. Like, we're gonna- we're gonna use every... Every tool in our arsenal, including invisible walls. Why would we not?
Oh god. See, like that tool. He's in that one place, you know, where you've been. Okay, from here. Just like air balls. Hey, Cecilene, what's up? Excuse me. From here, where should I be going? Is it these holes? Whoa, 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 whoa! What the frick? Wow, what is happening? Need to pick me up. Have we never been here? No, we've been here. What the frick? Oh my god. Right here, BD. I got one. Atticus Rex. Jeez. Oh, did I? <laughs> I think he lost his rocket and hit me, but he was right next to him. Damn it. You guys see that move? I don't know if you guys saw that move, but I did that move. Let me see. So what'd you find? Axiom Brood Bounty Hunter. Yeah, okay. Relies heavily on jetpack. Destroy jetpack. Good to know. Is this... I don't think this is where the... Uh, thing was hey bd in here let's see what you found oh it is oh my god okay so they replaced ogdo with these guys worth it worth it like look at how worth it this is people wouldn't have complained about the poncho color options if this was available from the beginning can I just say? Is this how we're going to finish the game? I feel like that's probably canon. Right? Alright, let's make it to our the place we need to go now. Uh, Gamer Nurse. Thanks for the new sub, man. Mr. Blue, thanks for gifting another sub to Dan Willis. And Pretty Chill, thank you for the bits. Is there a bright purple console? Or a poncho? All right, I'll let you guys decide, okay? Because this is a team game. It's a co-op effort. Okay, but make, make us look good. These are what we have. So we're gonna say, uh, the first row is A. So A, B, C, D. And then A, one, two, three, four, five. So place your votes in the chat. A through D, 1 through 5 that we have unlocked. And I will make a total, totally accurate uh, selection based on what everyone is suggesting in the chat. C5. Okay, so I see a cup, three, four, four votes for pink already. Colix in there with an A1. Okay. It's a decent option. Yep. D5. I, I think this one's probably the best looking. Anything in this, in the D row, looks pretty good. It's got like the phrase. It's like more fabric based than this weird tarp garbage plastic material. <clears throat> You're force sensitive, stick with the pink. <laughs> Mr. Blue Tie, what is going on? Thank you so much, man. 
Rolf, thanks for the eight months. Blue Tie, thanks for gifting more subs to Telkus and Munkin. Jero, thanks for the 25. Holy crap. Luckless is even gifting subs to Vinny. <laughs> Vinny has 23 months of subs. I'm pretty sure that he's never, never did one himself. Can you believe that? <clears throat> Can you believe that? Mr. Blue Tie again to Waifu and Sir MSGS. What is going on, man? Thank you. I appreciate it. Now I now I feel like uh, I don't want to let you down. So if I die, it's your fault. Thank you, Sassy. What do you guys... <laughs> I don't get what's happening. Oh yeah, right. We can chop his tongue off. It's so cool to be able to visit back here when we have like actual powers. You know? I'm sensing something weird. Dude. This is going to sound strange, but I think it's the Astrium. The closer we get to the vault, the stronger it feels. He's going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, buddy. We still Thanks, don't know man. how this thing works. That's really kind of you, Blue T. Grizzy Poo as well. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, dude. Strange that it doesn't seem very bothered about losing his tongue. I mean, what's he gonna do? Voice an opinion. Here we go, BD. He would be can't talk now. Yeah, exactly. I'm hoping that we have like one more just like m mega sword battle. That's what I want. I want to have a really good fight. Like I want to suffer a little bit. Just a little bit. Reflections. Kind of. I offer this record of our civilization to those who will follow. Despite our wisdom and technological achievement, we face extinction. Oh, look at these things. Oh, they're moving! Blinded us to the path of balance. And gradually we allowed our pride to corrupt us. That's cool. Whoa! begin with physical <laughs> preparation. Cool. What is the force? Gather round, everyone. Master Kestis, do you think the Empire will find us? Oh, that's trippy. What if we have to battle ourselves?
Whoa. Oh, that's trippy. Oh, look at this. So wait, are we seeing like glimpses into the future here? We're having like a force vision. Oh boy. Okay, apparently that's not the play. What the hell? I'm just doing it for the strategy guide. There will be others. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks. Can't hide. Got you. Yeah. Mr. Blue Tie, you're the man, dude. Thank you so much. That's very generous. Oh, oh, I'm locked on. And we may spare the youngest. That's right. On your knees. Never mind. Okay, so this is this is glancing into the future, I think. Where we have found the four sensitive kids and become I'm scared. their teacher. And then we get attacked and they get captured. Why? I want to go home. Master Kestis, why? What does he mean by that? <laughs> what the hell? What the f It's like some layers of fear stuff going on right now. Jeez. Blue tea, man. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Tanya as well. Thanks for the two months. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Oh boy. What are we wearing? Uh, it's just our most recent poncho that we've acquired. We've always we've always worn the ponchos that we pick up, so I feel like it's it's fine.
Oh, let's go. Oh, how uncharacteristically prescient of you. Here, I thought your greatest virtue was your dogged persistence as you stumbled from one debacle to the next. Guess you made a mistake not killing me on Baraka then. A scant mercy. I waged one meaningless Padawan against a prize that will win me the Emperor's favor. You think I'm gonna let you walk away with the Holocron? Of course not. We both have our pride. But yours has cost you the lives of all the four sensitive children on that list. Uh -oh. As well as your own. Like you said, Trilla, I'm persistent. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Still running. Let's see what she's got. Damn it. Weak technique. Okay. Yeah, I think I really got to stay in closer to her as her bar refills so quick. She was her uh, Padawan, right? And then I'm going to circle back. Stay with the younglings, Trilla. May the Force be with you. Master, don't leave us! Trilla, what's going to happen? It's okay. It's okay. That's like the machine that we saw uh, coming into here with that one kid behind the barrier. Is that what we're using now? An Inquisitor is born. When the second sister encounters Cal inside the Vault of Magano, an unlikely maneuver places her saber in the hands where he witnesses a forced echo of her tragic past. Cal learns Trilla's history as Seer's Padawan, including the disturbing details of her capture and transformation into the second sister. Revelation leaves Cal momentarily paralyzed, allowing her to steal the holocron. Great. We're still using ours. But maybe we're, uh, maybe we're getting influenced by the dark side. Oh. Is this what we want? I don't even, I don't think this is what we want. Oh, yeah, it is. We need to go to the Mantis. 
Okay. I I kind of want I kind of want to have uh, uninterrupted fights. You know, is that weird? Is that a lot to ask? I feel like our last few battles have always been interrupted by some form of. Okay, never mind. We're gonna have a fight. Oh, I took his tongue out. Okay. This game is canon, so the scripted fights are made that way because it will probably be used in the story of other Star Wars material. Oh, okay. Okay. I never considered that. you are. I mean, the Force Don't Unleashed stuff isn't considered canon? Oh, I, I have no idea. What is this? A statue placed with a view of the vault. I sense this site was chosen with great purpose. Zepho Colony. Statue is placed carefully on a site with a view of the vault, an indication the ancients here chose the location of the vault with great purpose. <laughs> hey, blue tie, bro. What is going on? Thank you so much. May the lurk be with you all. Good day. Thanks so much for the support, man. What are my plans for the next game? Is this the end? This is the end of the of uh, Star Wars. Yep. Yeah. Uh, next stream game? I don't know. I have no idea. My next stream might not be for like a couple of weeks. We'll see. Seer. I saw what happened between you and Trilla, what you both went through. I'm so sorry. I was arrogant. I was foolish. I could never understand what you went through. She has a holocron. I don't know where she's taking it. Well, we're going to chase responsible her. responsible for the path that Trilla is on. And what she does next is the cost of all of my mistakes. Our mistakes are in the past. And it's all of our responsibility, and it's about what we do next that's important. You told me that's here. You're right. 
I know where she's taking it. There's a fortress where they take Jedi. That's what I like to hear. Where the Inquisitors come from. It's a place of torture. It's the place I escaped. I just never thought I'd be going back there. Won't be going alone. I'll have a friend with you. No. Huh? I'll have a Jedi with me. Oh, oh, she's going back in. Neil. I wonder if she's going to fight. By the right of the council, by the will of the force, Cal Kestis. We're being knighted in our best Rise, gear. Jedi Knight. You are ready. So are you. Okay, I guess that's what it takes. The Lost Holocron. Cal and BD brought the Astrium to the vault and found the Holocron. Cal was swept into a vision. Younglings training only to be ambushed by the Empire. A battle, death, torture. Cal is an Inquisitor. When he awoke, Trilla stood before him. Cal pulled her lightsaber, thrusting him into a Force Echo. Seer and Trilla tortured. Trilla's turn. Seer's escape. When he returned, Trilla and the Holocron were gone. Cal ran back to the ship and told Seer. She reached out to the Force, took up Trilla's lightsaber, and knighted Cal. Sweet. Quiet. Too quiet. Keep going, Cal Kestis. Okay. Infiltrate the Fortress Inquisitorious. Um, somebody had asked... Somebody had asked uh, if we had seen something on our ship that I didn't recognize. Uh, hold on. A friendly Boglin? Aldo? Where do we look for that inside of our ship? Alright, what color are we going? I think we should... I think we should try to go, like... Like, really badass. Like, as, as cool as possible. We've done the... We've, we've tried the pink. What's the coolest color here? What's the, like, most badass intimidating color? Blue? Not real. None of these colors are actually that intimidating. He's inside the ship? Okay, we'll take a look. Purple, indigo. I wish it would actually show you. The color on here. I'm gonna go... I like the orange. Or, or, actually, why don't we go blue? That's what we were rocking, like... Were you using blue or green most of the game? I can't remember. Oh, and you know what? Let's let's pay an homage to Jero. Let's go all Jero gear here. Duralium. Oh. Just go matte. MKBHD style. Looks kind of the same, honestly. Green is Jedi. Blue's Jedi now. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do this too. We're gonna go uh, no poncho. Outlaws fine. BD. We'll make BD stand out a little bit. We'll go here, and then Mantis can stay black. Okay, so let's look for this little boggling guy. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. <laughs> no, I never saw that before. That's funny. You must have come here a lot with Cordova. No. Actually, he never brought me here. He did tell me about it. I was the only one who knew of its location. He trusted you. I suppose he did. He trusted I'd believe him and finish what he started. Hopefully he was right. BD1 thinks so. He's one bright droid. Blue equals justice, green equals peace, red equals anger. Okay, I'm good with this then. He was the bog that was trapped in that puzzle below the mantis. Yeah, I remember we unlocked him at one point and he ran away. And I was kind of thinking like, maybe we're, we're going to find these little dudes hidden around. And it's just kind of like a pseudo um, collectible type of thing. Like find all of these little guys. But uh, it's cool that he showed up on the ship. Where is, is he? Uh, does he disappear? Or is he always in that vent? Oh, he's over here now. Ha <laughs> ha. Quiet. That's so cool. Too quiet. What's his name? Oh, he's quick. First time when you enter the mantis, he's below the travel table. Fred? I like Fred. We could do Fred. Fred's good. Okay, let's roll. Fred the Boglin. <laughs> yeah, it fits. It's great. Freddy B. Infiltrate the fortress inquisitorius. Use the hollow table on the mantis. So... Newer, I guess? She plays a musical instrument. Hallett said. Yeah, yeah, that thing. But we've been together a while and I've barely heard anything. Do you like music, Marin? Yes. Some magic requires it. My favorite is the chant of resurrection. If you care to hear it. I do. What do you say, Captain? Oh, no, no. No way. Not on my ship. <laughs> what? The only dead things I want to see on the mana should be on my plate. I wouldn't mind hearing it. Do you guys know anybody that, if you ask them, do you like music? And they're like, eh, you not really. Kid, we're about to land. Bella Terizzi, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. Thanks for the 26 months, tier 3. That means a lot. Uh, Mr. Blue Tie again, uh, gifting us up to Apple Dude. Kennyson, thanks for the 7 months. I'm Ghana, thanks for the 3. Go, go, Power Jedi. Thank you so much. Some people say yes. Uh, my wife is like that. Ram's like that. If you're like, do you like music? She's like, meh. She has like some bands that she likes, but I'm like... Whatever, Ram. Pokemon Go stream? Vinny, did you just save up to a thousand points? This isn't good. With the defenses I got, our usual tricks just aren't gonna cut it. I can help. What are you thinking? A ritual. It will hide the ship. I hope. A ritual? She has an act for this kind of stuff. She's gonna use dark magics. What? Hold, wait, wait a minute. Now, hold on. Now, what is this gonna require? A sacrifice. One of your arms will do nicely. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't be so serious. Join me up front. Yeah, she's pretty witty, eh? Mother, lend me your strength. Sisters, mother, lend me your strength. Whatever she's doing, it's working. What do you think the odds are? 
That money's on you, kid. Aw. Let's go, buddy. Once we're inside, I'll engage their defense level and then sabotage their sensors so the mantis can extract us. You find the holocron. Shall we stick together? I feel the pull. The lives of every child on that list are at stake. Whatever happens in there and whatever you see, don't worry about me. Just get it and get out. Close it on the fort. When she says she feels the pull, is that, um, she feels like the force or she feels the pull of the holocron? Uh, I, I have that Lego set ready to build, you guys. I want to build that so bad. The dark side, okay. Yeah, thanks, Telkus. That's, I agree. The force is warning her most likely as in the dark side might be strengthened by what is going to happen. Okay. That was actually a pretty clever way of, uh, of getting here. Cal helps Seer come to terms with her violent past and let go. Armed with Trilla's lightsaber, she uses it to knight Cal. Together as a Jedi, or together as Jedi, they venture to the evil depths of the Fortress Inquisitorius to retrieve the Holocron and complete their quest. Fortress Inquisitorius. Heavily armed underwater fortress concealed within the Black Seas on the shadowy world of Nur. The stronghold serves as the central seat of the Imperial Inquisitor program, the Emperor's ruthless crusade to eradicate the Jedi Order from every corner of the galaxy. To maintain a public perception of peace and security, the existence of the fortress is intentionally hidden from the Empire at large. Although rumors swirl of a dark site where force users go to die or worse. Over their adventure, Grease warms to his friends, revealing his affection of food and his great grandmother. His piloting skills are put to the test, forcing Grease to become the hero he never thought he could be. I mean, he was invisible. When do we plan to upload the rest of Jedi to YouTube? It's going up every day at uh, 5 p.m currently and uh, I'll just continue doing that in like hour long chunks I think so it'll be another week to 10 days hey George look at this holy <laughs> Oh, I love it. Just watch YouTube uploads. How far behind am I? You're about uh, half the game behind. Yeah, I've got an invisible force field here that I can't get through. I feel like that might be a security flaw, just like letting anything open that door. Airlock in is clear. Listen to that. Don't let up. Hit him. Blast him again. That's another ally down. Cal, you there? Yeah, we're here. Good to hear your voice here. I've located the holocron. Sending you the location now. Got it. We're on the move. Okay. <clears throat> but they have such competent guards. Yeah, true. What do you think? That's true. They did have these four ready to stop anybody. What's the thing that he says that I hate? <laughs> you are leaving here alive. 
<laughs> yeah, valueless. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's the worst. Valueless. Do you hear that? Too skilled. Oh, the dual parry. What's up? Wow. Oh, that guy's going to be a problem. Let's be ready. Sometimes I just like to take a good baton to the face. really interesting. That's the first time I've ever noticed that. If you parry one and you can just continue blocking, it'll parry the other one, like, automatically, it seems. You're not so tough. Damn it. Right here, buddy. <laughs> what? This is the best game ever. <laughs> Come on, shoot again, please. I need him over here. Excellent. Excellent. There we go. Flawless. Help BD. Seem like questionable. <laughs> Hit the Jedi. Hit the Jedi. Assault ineffective. I gotta wait for the tagline. He's not saying it. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Right here, buddy. I think he I think this one's broken. Inferior Jedi, he says now. Oh crap. Valueless. I've cleared out this area, but the Empire sealed me in. Any ideas? Cal, look for a control room. I've got a plan. I think I'm standing in one. 
impressive view. Section wings of the fortress are designed for maximum security and stability in extreme undersea conditions. The complex system of partitions provides the ability to flood an entire wing or specific sector in response to any escape attempt by high-value detainee. Structurally reinforced shielding is able to withstand an external breach or change in pressure at any depth. Oh, I see. This needs power. We're like one step ahead, it seems. You want to sleep, but you want to see the climax? Vinny could probably help you with that. That BD? Well, that did something. Let's check it out. I've disabled the shields on the outer sections of the fortress. Flood the base and swim to the central keep. It's a hell of a plan. We'll meet up inside. Good luck. Got Let's it. do it. Let's go, BD. That section looks pretty weak. Ready for a swim, BD? Oh, cool. Hang on. Okay. We were teleported. Maybe it's a new Jedi skill. We'd likely have to go through there. Let's just see if we have anything hidden back here. Does water generally prevent Jedi from using their powers? Because underwater, we are kind of useless. Is that like uh, Jedi Kryptonite? Submerged section. Analysis of these pipes indicates the pressure buildup from an open airlock caused them to rupture. The breach could only have occurred if the shield system was compromised, rendering it unable to protect the fortress from hydrostatic pressure. Data suggests the fortress may be vulnerable to flooding if airlocks are open while its shield system is disabled. You don't say. Yes, it is a bit susceptible to flooding, it seems. just massive. <laughs> I knew you guys were going to get mad about that droid. <laughs> as soon as I hit it, I was like, oh god. I could feel it. Feel the judgment. Um, maybe here, lightsaber throw. We use that sometimes. You never killed R2s? I, uh, I can recall only one, I think, that looked like he was attacking me. 